In this video, I'm gonna be explaining how to manage events inside of monday.com. I'll be explaining or suggesting which board to use. I'll be explaining how to use the board and just how to make managing events as simple and easy as possible. Welcome CRM crew, my name is Nick. Before we get into this quick tutorial, if you are signing up to monday.com for the first time, it would be greatly appreciated if you could use my link below. It really does help the channel out. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So once you log into monday.com, of course, you're going to come to the home screen. Now, in order to manage events inside of monday.com, whether that be virtual or physical events, what we want to do is firstly head over to our workspaces up the top left hand corner here. And then we want to go to the workspace where we would like to um, we would like to manage our event from. So in this instance, I'm just going to use my example workspace. Now, what we want to do from here is we want to add a board template that monday.com has very kindly provided for us. And I feel as if it is an adequate way of managing your events. And then I'm going to explain a few ways to enhance that means of managing the event just to improve it, make it a little bit better. So if we press the add button, then go to the choose from templates. What we want to do is use the search bar up the top left hand corner here, and then we want to search in events management. Now, as you can see, the search results have given us the event management board template that we want to use. So if we just go ahead and press the use button and we will wait for our new board to load up. So as you can see, our event folder has now loaded and this is called event management. And in our event folder, we have got a few different boards and I'm going to be discussing each one of those, how to use them, what they are, etc. So the first one we want to head over to is our event planning checklist. So I'm going to click it and we're going to get a pop up menu here that says we can't use the Gantt view. If you're on the paid version, you will absolutely have access to this. But I'm just going to click off if you're on the free version. And as you can see, this is literally like a checklist or a place to just throw information or ideas about an event. I know when you're creating an event, it's very, very confusing. You're not sure what you want to do, what you want to achieve from the event, how you want to go ahead and manage it, and also additional information like get speakers, find food vendors, locate venue, plan email campaigns. You can go ahead and log all of that information and share this with other members of your monday.com system to go ahead and successfully manage your event or just the beginning of the event anyway, just to get information, ideas flowing, put get things written down and get the event started. This is literally like a Word document, so you can just write down any information. You can add additional headers if you'd like to, additional information you want to track. And as well, we've got our budget, tasks, things like that here. The Gantt view is the event schedule, which unfortunately, like I said at the start, we don't have access to. So make good use of this. The other alternative is you could use a standard board, but I can see why monday.com do suggest using this. It just makes it easier to write down random information. And then from there, you can then go ahead and actually formally plan your event, which is on the next board, which is the event planning board. So if we go to event planning, you can see we've got kickoff event sessions, we've got vendors needed and campaigns for events. Sorry, the jump there, the, the data took a little moment to load. But you can see this is a kickoff, the kickoff for the event, what's going to be happening. We've got a few different ideas here. And then we've got event sessions and topics as well. So what topics, what information are we going to be talking about in the event? Who the speakers are going to be, for example. So what information are we going to get across? What's going to be interesting to the people attending the event? We've got our vendors needed, so obviously catering, where is the event being hosted, things like that. Obviously, vendors needed are less so for virtual events, but as we go back to face-to-face -face meetings or face-to-face -face events, it is good to be able to track the vendors, like I said, the catering, where it's being hosted, etc. We've also got campaigns for events. This is where we can manage any marketing campaigns. If we're doing so, maybe this is an internal campaign, so we don't need to do any of that, but it's just a good way of managing it all. So we have all of this information provided by monday.com. Of course, we can add additional groups, and I strongly recommend you doing that. If you have any additional information you need to track for the planning of your event, this is a great way to do it. We do have all of the columns up the top here and I'll just quickly walk you through each of these. So firstly is the name, so the event session or the topic name. We've got sub items, so any let's say additional information we want to include. We've got the owner, so who is responsible for perhaps dealing with this thing. We've got deadline, so when is this due, so when do we need to maybe confirm that that is the topic or maybe vendors when does that vendor need to be booked by as an example we then got budget so how much is being spent on the vendor and then we got budget spent so how much have we spent of that budget 
status so has the has this vendor been approved to start have we confirmed that this um this topic is good to go we like the topic we like what we're talking about and then finally we've got campaign channel and if you, again you click on that we've got facebook ads instagram email youtube linkedin and newsletter so you've got a few different options there if you need to add additional columns obviously you can add further columns to track any additional information for your event planning maybe you want a tick box or something just as simple as that it just makes things a little bit easier now at the top here we've got the main table which is what we're currently on we can't use team workload if you're on the free version if you're on the paid version have a look at it feel free to check it out it's very useful we've got the kanban view so if you're not familiar this is just a means of moving uh, different items from one stage to another and then finally we've got my tasks fortunately for me i don't have any at the moment but if we go back to the main table and assign an owner and that owner is yourself you then go back to the my tasks area you'll see that is something that you are responsible for you need to deal with so this is the event planning board easy to use um, easy to track any additional information and then we have our event rsvp process so this is managing who is or consequently isn't attending or did attend the event so as you can see this is broken down by three different categories we've got registrants internal staff and sales clients now if you want to just have one long list you can do you can remove these different groups here just use the drop down menu and press the delete button and then you can just go ahead and add all of the different people as just registrants entirely up to you you might see benefit in managing them in different categories because you know the internal staff are coming you know the registrant side you know sales clients who you want to target who you want to look after during these events so maybe it is worth doing it is entirely up to you you can add additional groups down the bottom as well it's very very easy we've got our their names emails company name the company size what their title is the phone number We've got some notes um, and they can fill in note information. So you may be wondering, um, how do you get this information in? And you can do this automatically without having to manually enter it, but I will show you that in a moment's time. If we scroll along, we've got our preferences, um, we've got status, reminder date, so have you sent them a rem reminder? And then finally, did they attend? Now I will come back to the did they attend it later in this video. But moving on from the main table and going back to mentioning how you get this information into your monday.com system without having to manually enter every single person that is attending the event or registered. If we go to the registration form up the top here, we can then go ahead and share this form. This registration form is essentially a duplicate of the board with some of the information being removed. So as you can see, we've got name, email, company name, but they don't need to enter in company size nor would they need to enter any preferences in but they can enter in phone number title and notes as well so if you press the share form button you can then go ahead and copy a shareable link or you could embed it onto your website if you'd like to and then let's say if you copy the shareable link you can email it to them they fill out that information and then that data is directly fed back into monday.com so it makes your life a lot easier you then go back to the main table and you can move it from the different areas if you so wish you can update some information if you need to but that is a great way of using the registration form and just saving a lot of time when you are setting up your events we've also got timeline we don't have access to that on the free version if you're on the paid version feel free to check that out from there we've got form response viewer so we can just see everyone that's responded to our registration form and we can kind of click through them so we can see crystal there's a list of the information that we need what she entered in and we can see when it was submitted as well and then finally we've got registrants info so we've got kind of like a breakdown or a small box area of all of their information and this could be very useful if you would need that but obviously with face-to-face uh, -face events it's hard to use a monday.com system or any system when it's a live event so what i'd recommend doing is using the drop down menu and then just exporting it to excel having that excel sheet at the time so you can tick through put people through to ensure that they are meant to be there and um, no one's turning up who shouldn't be that, that people are turning up you can confirm whether they did attend or not you can do this for all of these different groups and you might want to just add them to the same excel and then when you come back uh, after the event has finished you can then select whether they did or didn't attend so that is why that is very useful so let's say we want to select this and no uh, aaron didn't attend our event now we can then go ahead and filter that information so if you press the drop down menu and go to filter 
we can select whether they did attend is and then we can say yes or no and we can break down um, all the people that did attend all the people that didn't attend based off the information we pulled off um, monday.com on that excel spreadsheet use the excel spreadsheet to manage the event and then we can update the information accordingly and you can see who did and didn't attend you may want to add an additional column that is like a notes area maybe you want to add some notes about particular people that did attend that may be useful and um, for sales in the future etc so hopefully you're familiar with the event rsvp process it's very useful makes managing your events really really simple finally we have our event dashboard now unfortunately if you're on the free version we don't get to see much data we have very limited access however if you're on the paid version there is a lot of data that you can utilize to see how your event went we just get the uh, budget and spent so as you can see we've not spent as much as we budgeted so that's that's great news but if you're on the paid version, go mad with this. It's really, really useful. Hopefully this video has been of use to you. You're now familiar with how to manage events inside of monday.com. And I'll see you shortly in a moment's time. Hopefully you are now all set and ready to go ahead and manage events really, really easily inside of monday.com. If this video has been of any use to you, if it's helped out at all, please consider dropping it a like, possibly even subscribing. If you do have any further questions at all, you are more than welcome to either drop a comment below or you can send me an email. My details are in the description below and I'll do my absolute best to answer any questions you do have. Thank you ever so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.